This article on medium.com was automatically generated using a custom GPT through the assistance API. We've seen this section in the developer console for a while now. And as of tonight, in the newest update for the autoblogger, we can now use all of the assistance that you've created to write blog posts, comment on Reddit, perform an SEO heist, reply to new tweets, and post as your personalized Xbot. Let me show you how to do it. If it's the first time you're using this software, head on over to autoblogger.app. You're gonna enter your name, an email address, a password, and then re-enter your password, then click sign up. Autoblogger, soon to be called youraiagent.com, is a web app that I've created for you guys to help with all of your business marketing tasks. We're gonna allow you to create multiple AI agents and handle all of that workload for you. When you first sign up, it's gonna drop you onto the settings page and you need to integrate one of the platforms in order to use the software correctly. It all depends on what you want to do and where your website is hosted. If you want to generate SEO optimized articles, you're gonna to need to hook up either Blogger, Medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, or WordPress.org. In this video, let's do Medium.com. So I'm gonna click on this. Then we need to name our medium.com integration. I'm gonna call it the how to use assistance publication. And then we need an integration token. And it's actually pretty simple. I'm gonna click on security and apps. It takes us to the settings page of whatever medium profile you're signed in as. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and click integration tokens. Describe your token. You could see I already named one auto blogger. I'll call this one assistance API lesson, click get token, and then copy that new token here. Go back into your settings page, paste it in, and then click connect. You're gonna get a notification that says your medium.com profile has been connected, click okay. It'll send you back to the connections page, and I see my new one right down here. You can rename it at any point if you want to change it or remove the connection altogether. Okay, next I'm gonna go to API keys. And we have multiple APIs that we can connect to the autoblogger. We can connect OpenAI. So those are for the text models GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo. It also hooks up DALI-3 and DALI-2. We have Gemini for Gemini 1.0 and 1.5 Pro. Gemini 1.0 is a completely free large language model that you can use. So absolutely zero cost. We have Claude. This hooks up Claude 3 Opus and Claude 3 Sunnet. And then Stable Diffusion 3. That's another image generator. We run that through Dream Studios API. But if you want to create your own custom GPT or use your own assistant, you need to add an OpenAI secret key first. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink. It will take me to platform.openai.com. I'm going to click Create New Secret Key. Let's call it assistant key. I'm going to click create secret key, copy this key, go back into the settings, paste it in, and now we're all hooked up. Adding a valid key is going to add two text models into your database. You're now going to be able to use GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 Turbo as mentioned, but it also opens up the assistance API. So we're going to need a name. Let's name our assistant. Let's call it West GPT. And now we need an assistant ID. So back in the OpenAI platform, I'm going to click on assistance, create a new assistant. Let's call it West GPT again. Now the instructions is your custom prompt. This can be whatever you want. You've created custom GPTs within ChatGPT before. Now we're creating those for the API. If I wanted to, I could go over to my GPTs, find the GPT that you want to use. Let's say newsletter GPT. I'm gonna edit this GPT, copy the entire prompt, paste it into the instructions, enable the tools that it needs, either file search or code interpreter. And there we go, we can access that custom GPT through the API. File search is the equivalent of the knowledge base for the API assistant. I'm gonna enable it. Then I'm gonna click plus files to upload the knowledge base. Let's click to upload. 
And I have this document which contains 50 newsletter examples. I'm going to click on this document, click open. It uploads that doc to my knowledge base. I'm going to click attach. And now if the custom GPT needs to, it will look at its knowledge base and perform tasks based on that information. So let's say you have a specific business website, you sell a specific product, you could upload all of that product's information into your knowledge base. And then when you start writing articles using the auto blogging AI agent, it will add in relevant information about your product, truthful information, because it's not pulling it from anywhere on the web, it's pulling it from your knowledge base and it will make your output a much higher quality for your reader make it sound way more natural, make it sound legit. And what we're trying to do is make it not look like it was auto-generated using AI. I'm sure you guys will have hundreds of different ideas of how to use this feature. I've had people requesting this for a long time, and now we have added it into the app. One last thing, if you want to adjust the temperature or top P, temperature is basically randomness. If you want the exact same generation each time, lower this to zero, the model then becomes deterministic. I definitely don't want that. I don't know why you would. And then top P is about sampling. I like to just keep these numbers as they are. This is perfectly fine. Everything auto saves on your assistant. So I can just scroll up, click this assistant ID to copy, go back into my settings and paste it in. Now I'm going to click add. We get a notification that your AI assistant has been added. I'm going to click OK. And now we see the West GPT assistant down here. I can remove it at any time or change the assistant ID or the name. But now this opens up the text model to be used when we actually run the auto blogging AI agent. If you're a new account, there's one more thing you need to do. Click on subscription, then click on subscribe. It's going to take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AI agent.com is $9 per month. It includes unlimited workflows, unlimited connections, unlimited AI agent tasks. I'm trying to make personalized AI agents as cheap as possible. I recommend giving it a shot and see what you think. Okay, our API keys have been connected. Our assistant API has been connected. Our medium.com profile has been integrated. And now we can choose our AI agent task. As mentioned at the start of the video, there are currently five tasks with more being added every week. Right now we have auto blogging, create hundreds of SEO optimized articles at an interval of your choosing. We have the Reddit bot. It automatically responds to new posts on your chosen subreddit. The SEO heist, steal your competitors traffic by writing similar yet original articles for every new post that they create on their website. The newest task, which is tweet reply, it automatically responds to new tweets on your chosen X profiles. And then Xbot, it's a personalized Xbot that writes and posts tweets on your behalf. In this video, we're gonna set up a workflow with the auto blogging. So I'm gonna click this. It lands you on the auto blogger page. You need to select your connection. By default, it chooses your most recent connection. This was the medium.com one. Choose whether to publish your article or make it a draft. Unchecking it makes it a draft. I'm going to uncheck it for now. Now we need to choose our text model. Because we added the open AI secret key, we automatically got GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and this is the assistant that I created, West GPT. I'm going to select it. For the image model, I'm going to select Dolly 3. Language, I'm going to keep it at English. For the post interval, this is how often it's going to generate posts for each of the keywords that you input below. An interval of one will post a new article every hour. The random toggle will post a new article every X hours between one and 24. I'm gonna uncheck random. Link URL and link text drops a hyperlink at the bottom of your article. You can use it for internal linking, external linking, affiliate links. The link URL is where you want the link to hyperlink to, and the link text is the text that you want hyperlinked. Your text prompt is extra information that you want to give to your assistant. In this example, I say that the output should be in HTML format. 
medium.com accepts HTML. So it'll make sure our article is formatted correctly. Image prompt is extra information that you want to give to the image generator model. And in this example, I write no words, illustration only, colorful and modern. Next is our keyword list. You can input multiple keywords at a time by separating them all with a comma, or I can type them in manually. So let's go the fruit route. I'm gonna go mangoes, cherries, apples, bananas, and pears. I got a bit of a sweet tooth today. There are five keywords, which means it's gonna write a new article for each of those keywords every hour, because that is my post interval. I'm gonna click generate posts. It's going to take me to the workflows page. At any point, I can click on the info button to edit a running workflow. And then I can change my text model, the image model, change the interval. Maybe I wanna publish the articles now but we also see when the next workflow is going to occur, the current keyword we're writing an article for, and if there are any error logs or not. This says all systems operational, which means it's running correctly. All right, let's hop on over to my medium.com profile to see the newest article. And here is the article about mangoes, automatically generated by my assistant, the newsletter GPT. If you want to add your own assistant to the Autoblogger app, there will be a link in the description below. If you want to learn how to add the assistance API to your own application, I built and designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. There's going to be a link in the description as well. If you click on View the Syllabus, then click on Module 3, Adding AI Features, it's the newest lesson right here. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.